What's up, y'all? It's Wilson TV. Still here, Hopscar Brewery. It's a tough one. I'm seeing long faces everywhere. People came here real happy. I'm seeing a lot of sad folks. Um, some sad music starting to play. La Murga just stopped. I'm here with my boy Bali. Bali, I seen you looking down. You don't look the best, bruv. Talk to me. How was this match? I'm heartbroken, bro. I'm, I'm just heartbroken, bro. That shit hurts, bro. You good, man? I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Uh, I mean, tell me something about the match, bro. I mean, positive, negative, something. It, it, it was positive. First half was positive, but a defeat is a defeat, bro. And honestly, Stuber stepped up, bro. It could have been more. It could have been 3-1. It could have been 4-1, bro. Ring let us down, bro. Is, is this Ring's fault? Is this L Ring's fault? I think so, bro. Yeah, it's, it's Ring's fault, bro. Was he just too reckless in his tackle? He knew he had a yellow card. I don't know. What should have told him? Hey, Ring. He's our captain, too. He should have known, bro. I don't know, bro. It sucks, bro. All right, man. Uh, like you said, Brad Stuber came up big. Really nice saves. Was he the man of the match for you, for Austin, even though we took the L? Yeah. No doubt about it, bro. Saved us again. It was just sad, bro. You know, we were playing so well, bro. We could have just just stayed with that 1-0 and just ended like that, bro. But, uh, <sighs> well, it was it was tough to end it with the 1-0 because Kansas was knocking at the door. Yeah, and then, and, and, oh, you know, back to back to back. And then Ring went out. What was it, like minute 60, like 2, 7, 70, 70 something? I think it was like late 60s, but... That's that, that was a long time, bro. It was it, enough time for them to beat us, bro. Clearly enough time to score two goals. Stuver, you know, couldn't keep everything out. Romagna lost his man in a corner. And then that second goal, it was just, you know, came out of nowhere kind of. Um, looking forward, we got LA Galaxy next, right? Uh, Chicharito on fire. We have no Alex Ring next match. Do you think it's time that Danny Pereira gets back in the starting eleven? Yeah, no doubt about that, but it's just ring is really good, bro. Re, re, if you think about it, ring is real key to our midfield, bro. And we're going to miss him, bro. And now that he's out, it's just going to suck. But Danny's going to come in. So that kind of makes me happy, you know. It's, it's something that makes me happy, you know. My G. My G, but fuck. I don't know, bro. I'm just. Here, baby. Hey, my G. That A. Hey, my G, Hector Jimenez, too. My G. Hey, hey Hector. Hey, hey, for real, shout out to Hector Jimenez. He got some uh, minutes yeah, today. He got, some, I, I, he got Hector. Hector got some time, and I like to see that. I, I like to see Hector get some minutes. He, he needs, and we need to see him more out there on the field for sure. Shout out to Hector Jimenez. He was he was on the live yesterday when you were up with uh, Danny, or was that? Yeah, that was yeah, yesterday, yeah, right? He, yeah, he was on the live. So you want to send a quick shout out to uh, Hector? Shout out to Hector, my G. Shout out to Danny, my G. And man, next game, Danny has to start. It's going to be a little different, but I trust my G, and I trust the team, man. Let's keep it going, bro. This was hard, bro. Mi corazón me hizo así, güey, así. Bro, I'm sad, bro. I want to I wanna go cry, bro. ¿Por qué pasó esto? Bro. It's not my fault, man. I'm, bro, I'm heartbroken, bro. My heart is like, it hurts right now, bro. It hurts. Anything else you want to say to the camera? Nah, bro, I'm done. Hey, that's where I seen TV. My boy Bali's done. You already know. What's up, y'all? It's where I seen TV. We are here at Hopscot Brewery. Uh, dealing with this loss, 2-1. to one. It was a tough one. Primo, you were sitting next to me the whole time. Um, it was a really tough one to to lose. We look like the, the better team almost. Give me your thoughts on today's game. Honestly, bro, we were looking pretty good, bro, honestly. Like, first half, scored a goal early. Looking pretty dominant possession, always looking on key. But honestly, it was just that red card that fucked us up, bro. It really messed us up, bro, honestly. But overall, I mean, like, if you go in, it's, it's tough to play when you have 10, 10 men. So, I mean, Kansas, Kansas was knocking. Kansas was knocking the whole game, bro. They're always coming, always always trying to shoot, always trying to do something. And uh, just the last 10 minutes, bro, it's just... It, they just capitalized, bro. 2-1, I mean. Is this Alex Ring's fault? I don't think it's all his fault, but it did 
it definitely gave them the edge, bro. It definitely gave Kansas the edge. I don't think it's necessarily all his fault, but it definitely helped them win. So, um, one thing that you don't didn't like about today was that uh, the chance keep on coming, even though we lost two to one. You say that you didn't like that. Tell us why. Tell us why. I don't. So, hold on. Some people might say that you know they're chanting because they want to cheer for their team, but you have a different view of it. What is it? I don't see, dude, bro. If we if we're losing, why chant? We're losing, bro. We're losing, like. And then especially if they score a second goal and you already kind of know we're going for that help, bro. It's like, why chant, bro? We're losing. I'm not going to chant for an L, bro. I'm going to chant for a W. I'm always going to chant for a dub, maybe a draw. But I'm never going to chant for an L, bro. Never. Even though Austin FC lost, who was your man of the match? Man of the match, my boy Gallagher, bro. We were all talking about it last episode. We all wanted Gallagher to start. He started seven minutes in, whatever it was, scored. He proved us, bro. So, honestly, bro, Gallagher, man of the match for me. Uh, give me your thoughts on uh, Brad Stuber. Brad Stuber, bro, he's showing up, bro, honestly. Like, he, he came up this game. Honestly, we probably would have lost more. Like, he, they would have scored more goals on us if it wasn't for Stuber, bro, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Stuber spe- stepping it up. Uh, probably like running underneath from uh, from Gallagher. Uh, he definitely stepped stepped it up, bro. Do you think Austin FC got lucky? It wasn't four one. No, yeah, definitely, bro. I think Stewart just played a big part in that. Unbelievable stops. He was always showing up. I mean, there was like a one on one. It was like really close, bro. And he showed up. So shout out Stewart. If it wasn't for him, honestly, four one, three one, we would have gotten killed out there, bro. Alex Ring got a red card today. He's not going to be there against LA Galaxy. Who are you subbing in for him? Subbing in? Pereira. Pereira. Put my boy in. Put my boy in, bro. Put my boy in. He he looked good those, those those minutes he played, so he was looking pretty good. But honestly, bro, Pereira, Pochettino, Fagundes, I think it's pretty solid. Uh, score prediction for LA Galaxy and your final thoughts on uh, the match so far. Uh, LA Galaxy, I mean, Chicharito's just on fire right now, bro. He's looking pretty good, so I wouldn't doubt if they do score on us. It's going to be a tough one. I want Austin FC to either win or tie, get some points in the score. So I'm going to say 1-1, bro. Chicharito scoring. We'll find a goal somehow. But it's tough seeing the W, bro. So 1-1. And uh, as far as, uh, what was it, the next game? Yeah. I mean, how we started was pretty solid. We have a, we have a good starting lineup. So I think if we keep that going, our midfield is pretty stacked. So ring being out. Might affect us a little bit, but I mean, Pereira can probably pick that up, bro. So honestly, I think we're looking pretty solid, but at the end of the day, 1 1. That was pretty much everybody. We're Austin TV. You already know. What's up, y'all? We're Austin TV. I'm with my boy Nick. Nick, how you doing today, man? A little gutted. Uh, just lost, but uh, otherwise, it's a great time. It's a great time. So. It was a great time. We had a really good time uh, watching the match. We went up real early, minute seven. John Gallagher finally got the start. Uh, Tomas Pochettino had a pretty good game, hit the uh, crossbar. Give me your thoughts on the match overall. Yeah, um, overall, uh, for two-thirds of the game when we were winning, I was very optimistic, very happy, um, glad to see us winning. And then uh, when we went down by a player, I was just, I was like, it's over. Like, I I saw either a draw or definitely a loss, like uh, either one, but I was not optimistic. I I see that as, like, you know, if you and I were going to have a fist fight, I don't know why we would, but uh, yeah. if we were, you're taller than me, you're stronger than me, you're bigger than me, but if you have one hand, I still I still back me to win. Exactly. And when we were two-thirds of the game in, I was like, this is not good, this is not good. Uh, to go down a player, it's, it's a big thing. So, Alex Ring got the first official Austin FC red card in club history. Is there anybody fit more than him for that title? It's, that's tough. I'm conflicted with him. He's been so great for us. Yeah. So I can't, I can't really criticize him. He's been really great for the past few games. But when he went off, I just knew. I was like, this is not good. This is very, very bad. And I, I saw a loss coming at that point. And if we'd have had a draw, I would have been fine with that. But I don't know. He's, he's our captain. So, like, you know, to lose him, it's, it's a big thing. So. Who was your man of the match, uh, you know, even though we had a 2-0 loss? Brad Stuver, 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%
I'm sorry, we had a 2-1 loss. Yeah, we had a 2-1 loss, but uh, Stuver, like, I thought he made vital saves just to keep us, like, competitive. Um, I thought he was he was good. Brad Stuver definitely did come up big. Um, how were the substitutions? What, what did you think of the subs that came in? We had Danny Pereira come in, Ronnie Redis come in, Hector Jimenez came on, and uh, Cascante came on also. Uh, give me your thoughts on those guys and how they kind of impacted the game, kind of didn't. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say on them. I, I didn't think they changed much. I thought the the numerical loss to go down by a player was much bigger of a factor than than the rest of it. It was a clear park the bus situation, right? Did Austin, should Austin FC try to look for the, the game instead of parking the bus? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm too conservative, but I think we should have just kept the ball and not necessarily like tried to push. I think uh, when you go down a player to protect a one nil lead is like a skill that you want to be able to have. I don't. I don't think we necessarily should have tried to push forward. I think just to just to maintain the one nil or even one one. Um, I don't think we should have been been too much more. Uh, yeah, than that. Uh, give me your thoughts for the LA Galaxy game next week. Score prediction. Score prediction. 3-2. I see a high-scoring game. I I don't think we necessarily like are concerned defensively. I think we want to push. I think we want to be adventurous. I think we want to try to score. So I can see a high-scoring game there. Anything else you want to say to the camera, bro? Uh, uh, shout out La Murga. They were good. I was I was so dispirited, disheartened, like with uh, when we were down, like towards the end. I was like, I just want to get out of here. I want to go home. And uh, but they, you know, you know, we're just. I'm just glad to have a team here in yeah. in our home city. And um, you know, I got to remember that like this having our team, even if we lose like all the games, I don't want to lose all the games. But like if we lose all the games for the rest of the season, I'm just happy to be here to have a team, to have people who are passionate about the game and this city, and to be here. So. Um, yeah. Appreciate it, Nick. We're watching TV. You already know that was my boy, Nick. Whoa, I'm going to my balance. That's my boy, Nick. You already know, baby. What's up, y'all? I'm here. We're Austin TV, Hop Squad Brewery. Uh, people starting to leave, heartbroken, long faces. You heard Bali ATX earlier. Uh, I'm here with my boy, Javier, one of the up-and-coming Austin FC fans, young and in the building. How was the match for you today, man? How'd you see it? Um, at the last seconds, at the last minutes, uh, we kept losing position a lot. And I thought, um, Stuber, he did well. But I feel like the long ball he was doing, we were going to have way too much possession to, to the opponents. And, um, yeah, that red card affected us a lot. Yeah. A lot. Do you think this was Ring's fault? Is this, is this match loss on, on him? Uh, it's a 50-50, you know, because cause it was a 1-0. Uh, they they could um, tie the game. So he was taking chances, but also, but so he was being a, super risky with the with the tackles he was making. And yeah, the red card affected us a lot. Yeah. Uh, Brad Stuver came up big. He made a bunch of saves. He kept Alan Pulido scoreless. Unfortunately, we let two goals in. But do you think Austin FC could have could have won this game? Um, I think yeah, because if Ring didn't do those those tackles. That would have been a, a one a one zero win. Yeah, I think so too. But Brad Stewart did did really good, uh, keeping those balls out, keeping Alan Pulido not scoring a goal. Yeah. So we could have won the game, but but yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. It, it is a, a a tough one, and a bigger tough one that we're gonna have is next week against LA Galaxy. We gotta go back to LA. But not really L.A. We got to go to Carson because L.A. Galaxy ain't even in freaking L.A. They're in Carson. So we got to go back out there and we got to play an L.A. Galaxy that has uh, Chicharito that's on fire. Jonah Dos Santos is on fire. They just beat L.A.F.C., which beat us 2-0. to zero. So we're not going to have Alex Ring. Give me your prediction for that match when we got to go play L.A. Galaxy and Chicharito. Uh, I feel like Danny Perez is going to start uh, in L.A. Ring position. I mean, he can do uh, pinpoint crosses too, yeah. like accuracy and all that. 
But I feel like Chicharito, he's gonna he's gonna be a lot of trouble. But I think Romagna's like he's gonna stay on him, try to get him not to score. And I feel like Dos Santos, he's gonna he's gonna dribble past a couple midfielders. He's probably gonna get a chance or two, but but it's a tough one. It's a tough one because they got really good players that are in really good form. But it's a tough one since since they're on fire, they beat LAFC, which beat us 2-0. I feel it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one. You think we're gonna get away with a tie? I feel like it if we keep playing a lot of possession, because they're really good on the counter attack with Chicharito and Dos Santos. But I feel like we could get away with the tie, like a one-one. Okay. I like that. Get away with a tie. That'll put us in a pretty good spot in the league. Is there anything else you want to say on this match? Um, not really. Just let's see if we can get a tie with the LA LA Galaxy. As we are seeing TV, my boy Javier, you already know. Let's get it, baby.